Hello, I'm here with a question from Jonathan. How to use marketing automation for a B2B product? So this is a very specific question about marketing automation. If you don't know what marketing automation is, marketing automation is a system that helps marketeers like me, like you maybe, uh, to run their marketing operations digitally. It's a system that has various types of tools in it so it helps you automate a lot of the processes that you're doing in a manual way automatically so i'll give some examples um first of all the first step would be to select your platform which marketing automation are you going to use there are some that are free for small startups um, and for other types of companies we're talking about b2b companies so examples hubspot marketo oracle uh, eloqua uh, salesforce has pardot there are various types of platforms many of them i personally use hubspot for the past i don't know six seven years it's a very good platform um, the next step when you're looking at your marketing automation is first of all to have the data that will go into that system so the data that the system needs is the people your customers your leads your prospects your followers so before you even start putting this system in place make sure that you have the sources to give you that data your website your blog your social media anywhere that people can subscribe to be in your database, to be on your mailing list, you will add them to your system. Also sales, your sales team is a channel for you to get that data to input into that platform. Now the second step would be to normally, if you're doing it right, integrate between your CRM system, CRM is the customer relationship management system, and your marketing automation system. So in our case, we use salesforce.com as our CRM and HubSpot as our um, marketing automation system. And we connect the two so that the database of people, the customers, the leads is the same database. So the data is the same data in both systems. Sales use it for certain things. Marketing use it for other things. And there is a big crossover between the two in the things we do. The next step is um, with your database of people, you need to segment it. So you need to start strategically thinking, who is uh, the customer type? Who is the lead type? What is the industry that they belong to? Which country, demographics, life cycle stage? There are various things that you need to look into when you segment your database. Based on that, you'll be able to then do different lists and segmentations of your database when you want to approach these people. Then you need to build your funnel flow. Uh, how are you going to manage your uh, lead generation and demand generation process? Is it going to be in a certain flow? People come into the website, they engage with you in a certain way, they leave their details through a form, for example, they come into your system, you email them, you post on social media and tag them, you do various actions with them. So that flow needs to be built before you start working with the system. Um, there are companies that can help you do that or agents that can help you do that to build that flow. And then what are the type of tools that you'd like to use inside your marketing automation system? So your email marketing um, se section, for example, your social media section where you can post on your social media uh, profiles, um, automated workflows, you want to automate some of the things you do with a customer or with a lead that comes in so that you don't have to manually go through the same actions for every person that comes into your funnel. Uh, you want to do scoring, for example. You want to score your leads based on certain criteria that you put in place. And then this automatic scoring can help you prioritize your leads, for example, and bring them to sales quicker. Um, landing pages or forms you can build inside your marketing automation system and then embed them in your website so that the people that sign up, sign up directly into your marketing automation system. And then you use your marketing automation system ongoingly to uh, execute the different content campaigns that you create, whether they're related to a certain ebook or a webinar or whatever your content is or video. And you can build email campaigns around it, you can build social media campaigns, you can integrate various types of actions into one content 
uh, campaign. And then obviously most important, analyze and measure everything you do. So those systems will be able to also give you a pretty comprehensive measurement tool, depending on what you need it for, but it's there. So I try to cover most of the basics of the uh, marketing automation platform. If there's anything you'd like me to elaborate on, let me know.